Hi everyone, welcome to lesson five, exercise one, header and buttons. In this lesson, we learned about bootstrap components. This is one of the coolest parts of bootstrap. Essentially, components are pre-made, pre-packaged user interface elements like buttons, icons, and tables that we can plug right into our pages. What's great about it is that they look nice right out of the box without much work beyond just adding in the classes. So in this exercise specifically, we're going to practice adding in a header. So the header, you can see a preview of here. And the page header class gives it this nice little out um, underline and some padding so we can space it out. We're also going to add in this learn more button at the bottom. So again, looks pretty professional and clean. And you'll see in a moment how simple it is to add in. Okay, so once we get started, first thing I like to do as always is run the code I do have so I can see what I'm working with before we make any changes. So we'll go ahead and open that in a new window. And as you can see here, this is a small basic web page about scuba diving. Right now the header is styled using an H1 tag and the page header class is what we're going to replace this with. Okay, it's just a nicer way to present headings and You'll see in a moment what that looks like. Also at the bottom, we're going to add in a learn more button under the paragraph here. So let's go back into our HTML and start making changes. First thing we want to do is wrap the H1 in a div with the class equal to page header. Okay, so this is just page.header. And I believe we also want, don't forget to make that closing div tag go on the bottom of the header. Okay, we also want to add in a subtext for the header, and that subtext is the self-contained underwater breathing apparatus. So I'm just going to go ahead and wrap that in small tags, and we'll see what that looks like in a moment. Okay, so we'll save, refresh, and there you go. So Page header class is a great alternative to the normal H1, H2, H3 tags. You still get this nice header effect. It's still nice and large, but it adds some extra padding. This looks more visually appealing to me, in my opinion. And then you get this nice underline underneath. So just right away, nice, clean, professional look. And all we added in was a simple class. All right, let's wrap this up by adding in that button underneath the paragraph there. So I'll locate that paragraph. It's right here. So, and it even tells us where to put it. So first thing we want to do is create a div with the class equal to button. And I believe we want the button primary. So inside of the button class, there are a bunch of buttons that you can use. If you're interested, go over to docs and you can check out the bootstrap docs here. There are a variety of buttons you can choose from, but we're going to use the button primary, which gives it that blue background. Okay. Inside of the button, we want to write learn more. So I'm just going to write that exactly how I see it. Okay, and it's just as simple as that. Okay, let's save it. Let's refresh. And there you go. Nice, beautiful, professional looking button. Later on, you could actually turn this button into a link that could take you somewhere else where in this case, you would learn more about scuba divers. And that wraps up this exercise. Very nice work.